welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello my name is Megan today I'm going to go back a little bit go back into November's budget and complete it for you guys I'm going to do my week four check-in along with my bi-weekly budget number two results so I hope you guys are excited for that it'll be a bit of a longer video but I want to catch up kind of get November um, wrapped up with YouTube get it over and done with um, I'm actually changing my schedule a lot of you may know that i'm um, back at work i'm an insurance broker i work um full 40 hours a week so i'm very busy my youtube schedule is definitely changed i think i'm going to film on the weekends maybe three or four videos um try to get them edited and whatnot and then post them during the week or on the weekends but they're going to be pre-filmed videos. I hope you guys understand that my schedule has to change a bit. It is what it is. I am studying for my level one um, insurance ticket. So I have a lot on my plate. I am running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So I hope you guys understand for a little bit that December will be a bit different with, with filming schedules and all that. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, and then I think, so yeah, that's going to be today's video. I'm going to also film um, my November monthly budget results after this video and then I'll get that prepared and edited put it up maybe Tuesday or Monday or whatever and then tomorrow I will film my check-ins for December and whatnot so I'm trying to catch up on some videos and I'm sorry about that also if you haven't noticed already I am filming on my new phone I did take clips of me unboxing it and whatnot so i will get all the details about my phone bill how much it is all that kind of stuff soon so that'll be maybe a video that i will film next weekend so i hope you guys don't mind waiting for that i hope you guys like the quality of the videos now i did upgrade to the, the iphone 12 pro just because of youtube otherwise i would have my old iphone 8 still <laughs> so i hope you guys appreciate my videos still um if you want to come along for the crazy ride, please subscribe down below and let's just get right into this video and get started. So all the way back until November, I'm just like, oh, what did I even spend my money on? So I'm going to try to do um, as best as I can um, looking back at these transactions, figuring out what I spent the money on. The lighting on this camera is so good and I'm so happy with it. So um, anyways, what you do on... Um, this page, it's your weekly spending tracker. It just gives you week by week of how much you spent, keeps you on track of all your categories and all your spending. So you don't go, um, over budget, or, you know, if you're going to go over budget by how much it's just a really good check-in. Um, it also makes, uh, doing your results for your biweekly budgets, um, very simple. It takes like five minutes because I can just reference back to this page, when I'm adding up all of my transactions, I just have to add two numbers instead of going back two weeks. So this page is definitely handy. Just so you guys know, these are my budget sheets. They're from my Etsy shop. It's called Budget Queen Shop. Go check it out. They're very cheap PDF printables. You have them for a lifetime. So um, definitely check it out. So anyways, we'll just go through with groceries. We're looking at week four. So the 20th to the 26th, it's just this sheet right here. I just have half a page, thank goodness. So we'll just start there. What I'm looking for is the category um, expenses and then the description as groceries. Um, this makes it easier just to separate and whatnot. So um, first we have groceries 6135. That was probably just a quick grocery shop just for things that we needed that night. This was um, $238.82 was a huge stock up. We usually have $200 per week for groceries. Um, sometimes we go over if we need to stock up. It's winter time. We're eating a little bit more, so that happens. Those were the only transactions that we had for groceries, and that was still $317, so way over. We will do the category balance after. Um, we'll just get the spent done first. So for gas, we have just this expense. It was $45.01. That was before I started my job and started driving a lot. <laughs> so um, $45.01, I think that was for my husband's car. Um, for eating out, we actually didn't spend anything, which was awesome. Um, so zero there, as well as my husband didn't do any spending. So that was good. For my spending, however, I spent a ton of money. <laughs> when I found out I had the job, um, 
I had been a stay-at-home mom for four years, so I didn't have work clothes, I didn't have little cute flats or earrings or hair clips or any of that. So what I did is I went online, I went to Ardeans, if you don't know what Ardeans is, or Ardennes, however you say it. It's a cheap like accessory store type of thing. I cannot fit their clothes because I'm too big, but I can fit their shoes. So I went online and I bought some shoes and some jewelry and a nice bag, just kind of cheap stuff like that, that gets worn out easily. But it was on a Black Friday sale, so everything was 50% off. So really good sales. Um, I did that. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. My Just Fab. I did a Just Fab order. It was $40 Canadian, $28 US or something like that. I ended up doing a second order um, later in December. You'll see that. Um, but I'm trying to get into feeling better, looking better, trying to lose weight a little bit. So... Um, I bought two pairs of pants there. The next order was um, way, way more expensive. I bought this sweater. Actually, it is so cute. I wish I could show you guys. Um, two sports bras and two pairs of pants. They're just like, I put the clothes on and they just make me feel so good. So anyways, I spent quite a bit of money. Um, definitely needed because I, like I said, had shirts with holes in it, leggings that are see-through. Um, I can't wear stuff like that to a very professional job, so I had to get myself a couple of things, work things. So um, anyways, for kids, we actually didn't spend anything, which was surprising and good. Then for household, we spent $20 right here. I think that was for just a couple little things. I can't remember exactly what that was for. And then for other, we have $89 here. Um, actually I, I did a, um, Amazon purchase and somehow I didn't even click Amazon prime, but Amazon prime was bought on my MasterCard and I was like, oh my God. So I bought Amazon prime for a year. Um, so that was awesome. Was not expecting that, but it happens. I don't mind having Amazon prime, you know, Christmas is here and I did it for all of my kids birthday presents and stuff so and with me not shopping like with me not going out into my town and shopping at the local toy store and stuff just because of COVID I'm very afraid of COVID <laughs> so um, I don't shop a lot outside um, online shopping has been my friend this year I know um, I am one to support local but right now with COVID it has reached my town I'm very afraid of um, getting COVID. So <laughs> I hope you guys can understand that. Um, I'm just buying Amazon presents for Christmas and that's about it. So I hope you guys understand that it was a very expensive week. $544.18 was a lot. Um, anyways, let's do the category balance. So what we do is take week three's balances, subtract what we spent week four, and then that gives you the new category balance. Um, or the ending for our um, monthly budget. So uh, 5902 subtract 317. We were over in groceries by 241.15. Um, so $200 was about a stock up, um, just an extra stock up of groceries. So that happens. It is what it is. 7108 for gas minus 4501. We still have 2607. So I'm glad we we're able to keep our spending low on that. Eating out, we had 52.79. We didn't spend anything, so we still have 52.79. I'm very glad that we didn't go over and eating out. That's awesome. We still had 27.54 for my husband. Oh, 27. 27.54. He didn't spend anything, so he still has that. Whereas I, this is actually surprising because my husband's usually the one to spend. I am usually not, so I was negative 1761 already. I am over by 10761, so that was a lot. We still have 24 for the kids. 4750 for household minus 20, we still have 2750 for household. And then for other 3992 was left over, we spent 89, so we were over by 4908. So total we were over 23994. Now we go up to the top and do our actual 
um, numbers. This gives you a full glance of what you spent in the entire month. What you do is just add up uh, each of the four numbers in that category, put it here, and then um, these numbers are exactly the numbers that you wrote down here. So we spent a total of $1,041.15, which is actually good because we usually spend about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars on groceries so that was keeping it um keeping the cost pretty low it sounds ridiculous and i know it is but groceries are expensive here and i'm eating more healthy and my husband's eating more healthy so um it is what it is for gas 132.93 we still had 26.07 and you can check these numbers by just um so take 800 plus 241.15 and that gives you 1041.15 um, cents. So that's how you can kind of verify that these numbers are all correct. And I would suggest doing that um, just so you know that your numbers are correct. So 47.21, 52.79, whoops. We have 147.61 for myself. We are over 107.61. When I write fast, I tend to skip over things. Oops. See, like I wrote it in my husband's and there we go. So we'll just change that. My husband spent $12.46 and he still had $27.54. Kids, I had $126. I still have 24. Household is 72.50. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast because I know this is going to be a, a long video. Um, and then other was 99.09 or 08, 99.08. And then over by 49.08. And uh, there, $1,669.94 was spent. Again, we were over by two thirty nine ninety four. So, almost uh, seventeen hundred dollars on expenses, which is absolutely nuts. Um, things happen. My work came up. Um, had to get things for that. I didn't expect to pay for the Amazon Prime, and then we were over by groceries by quite a bit. So, a lot of things have happened in November. So that is crazy. Now we will just bring in our bi-weekly budget. I already have the numbers done for my bi-weekly budget, so I'm just gonna go over it pretty quick. I don't need to show you guys in all of the expenses, all this single transaction, so I'll just go over it quick. All right, so my husband ended up making $1,445.82. This was lower than expected. He actually took out his holiday pay from work they ended up screwing up taking about 37% taxes, which was absolutely crazy. So it was way less than we thought. It is what it is, we have to deal with it. So um, we were just short a little bit there. Um, I got my $900, that was from the government support that I was getting. My child tax benefit, I live in British Columbia, Canada. Um, each month I get a check to support my children. It is based on your income relationship status and how many kids you have. So for me and my family, we get 79027 and we are absolutely grateful to have received that money. So um, variable, this is all of my YouTube money, Etsy money, if I sold anything online, that kind of stuff. So all together for variable income, I made $302.64, so really awesome. I usually take all of my online income and put it right to my credit card, so thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. So for income, we made $3,438.73. Moving on to bills, we have Jeep at $267.33. That's just an automatic bi-weekly payment that comes out on my husband's uh, paycheck. Every one of my husband's paychecks, I put $500 away for rent at the end of the month on the 1st or the 31st or the 30th, whatever. I take out that $1,000 from my savings and send it to my landlord. It helps with breaking up that expense. So it's not $1,000 on your last um, paycheck just wiped off for rent. Um, so it helps us, um, with being able to pay for rent. Anyways, for gas, we have $49. For car insurance, it was 89. 
For my husband's iTunes, it was eleven nineteen. Beachbody came out, it was twenty eleven. My iTunes ended up coming out late on the twenty seventh, so you'll see that in December's uh, biweekly budget number one results. Our cell phones, our contracts ended, so we were um, using our old iPhone eights or whatever, and the contract ended, so we were only paying one twenty nine eighty eight, which is absolutely amazing. As you um, already heard in the beginning of this video, I have upgraded my phone. So in January, I already got December's bill. It's about the same. In January, my bill is going to skyrocket to about $250. Um, and I will explain that in another video. I have an unboxing of my phone and I'll explain all the bill details to you guys. Like I said, I'll film that next Saturday, hopefully. So anyways, my bill total was $1,066.51. So this is where you can go to your weekly spending tracker to make it very easy on you. So you add up week three total, and then you add up week four total, and then that gives you the grand total of your bi-weekly spending. It just makes it super easy to go back to. So 530, is how much we spent this bi-weekly budget. So we were over by 140, so over our budget definitely. For gas, 4501 nothing for eating out, nothing for my husband's spending, $90 for my spending, which is ridiculous. The kids, $54, whoops, uh, $32.50 for my household spending and $89 for others. So we spent a total of $846.83. I get questions all the time. What happens if I overspend in my expenses? Does, do you put it on your credit card or what do you do? I usually just shift things around. So if we overspend here, um, it would most likely be less in Christmas fund. And then it also reflects in our income. So as you can see, there's about a $300 difference. And in this case, it's about a $200 difference. So it's always reflected in our income. And if it's like past that, we will adjust um, our other sections here. So doing less on birthdays, less on Christmas, less on our wedding budget. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, food is definitely um, our first priority. Food, electricity, you know, your four walls. So saving for my wedding or spending less on Christmas is not a big deal. I'd rather have more groceries in my fridge rather than buying Christmas presents. So I hope that answers a lot of your guys' questions. Um, I do not go into debt if I go over all my expenses. I hope you guys understand that. So anyways, we spent $400 on my credit card. This is um, the minimum that I put on my credit card every month. This helps with the interest and it is all my little debt snowballs added up into one. This is the credit card that I'm focusing on. It is actually under $2,000, which is absolutely amazing. Um, that credit card was um, maxed out at $6,500 for the last four years. So I'm excited that it's going down rapidly. I'm so excited. So snowball zero. Like I said, I put all of my um, online income onto there. Um, my YouTube and my Etsy were $190.41. So here's YouTube $158.41. Etsy was $22.50. Etsy $931. I had rollover money into week two. So that was $112. And then the rest was the $190.41 was my online income. So the rollover money was just um, in the income. I didn't put that into my snowball. Anyways, for birthdays, I spent $25. It was my best friend slash um, cousin-in-law's birthday. So $25. I just gave him an Amazon gift card. He does a lot of stuff for our family. We appreciate him a lot. So $25 was not a bad thing. Christmas, I ended up spending $409.27. I got all the kids done from my list. So that was really good. If you haven't already watched my um, Christmas budget, please go do that. It's awesome. Um, for wedding, I didn't actually end up saving anything because um, we still had some money to pay off from our trip from our credit card. We had to put some expensive on the credit card um, because um, they didn't use my debit card. So we paid some of that off, $304.48. And then also my work expenses came up. Like I said, um, 
I had to get a lot of new things. You can see in um, the category other and it says work $44. Some I did for my, um, some of the expenses I did under my allowance, but some I just added into a different category called work. So one ninety six twenty three. Oh my God, that's crazy. I didn't think I spent that much. Oh, that was for school stuff. This was for all my Ardeen stuff. And this must have been something else. This $50 must have been something else. Um, I can't remember. Anyways, I spent one at $96.23 getting prepped for work. And trust me, guys, I needed it. <laughs> so $934.98 was spent in the other category. So you could see a little bit less was spent here. A little bit more was spent here. A little bit more was spent here. So it all evens out. Um, in the end. So we will just do, it's really awkward to write on the side here. Just do our totals now. $3,438.73. Bills, $1,066.57 or 51 cents. Sorry. Um, expenses were $846.83. Debt was $590.41. And then other was nine, whoops, 934.98. And we came out with a zero based budget. That means that when you subtract everything from your income, you are left with zero. So that was perfect. All my numbers were great. So that's awesome. Um, see, even though we had a little bit less for my husband's paycheck, we were, we were able to make it work and kind of shift things around as things happen. So that's just what you gotta keep in mind is just because you make a budget doesn't mean that those numbers are going to stay the same always. So anyways, that's enough chit chat. This video is already crazy long. So thank you guys for um, coming along for the ride, finishing up November's budget. I'm happy to be in December now. Um, sorry again for all the late videos going back into November. This job is absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys understand. Stick with me. I'm still going to post a bunch of videos. I absolutely love YouTube. So I'm going to keep with it. So Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!